Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 441. Visual Field Defects. Please refer to the picture of Visual Field Defect before answering any of the questions. And remember, in the Visual Field Defect, the gray area that's shaded, that is actually the blinded area. The clear white space is the actual visual field. What would be the result in right optic nerve damage? The result of right optic nerve damage would be right anopia. And anopia just means complete blindness. What would be the end result of optic chiasm damage? Optic chiasm damage would lead to bitemporal hemianopia. What would be the end result in right optic tract damage? Right optic tract damage would lead to left homonymous hemianopia. So basically in this you would not be able to see on the left side of both the eyes. One other thing to remember here is that in right lateral geniculate body damage you would have the same exact result where you have the left homonymous hemianopia. What would be the end result if the right Myers loop of the temporal lobe was damaged? In right Myers loop damage it would lead to left upper quadrantic anopia. What are the conditions that can lead to the right Myers loop damage? Right Myers loop damage can occur due to right temporal lesion or middle cerebral artery stroke. What would be the end result of dorsal optic radiation of the parietal lobe damage? Dorsal optic radiation of the parietal lobe would lead to left lower quadrantic anopia. What are the causes that can lead to dorsal optic radiation of the parietal lobe damage? Dorsal optic radiation can be damaged with right parietal lesion or with middle cerebral artery stroke. What would be the end result if the primary visual cortex is damaged? If the primary visual cortex is damaged, as you could see here with number 6, it would lead to homonymous hemianopia, and this can be with or without macular sparing, depending on the site of the lesion. What would be the end result if the left macula is damaged? When the left macula is damaged, it would lead to central scotoma. And central scotoma just means a central blind spot. Where do nerve fibers of the Myers loop come from? The nerve fibers of the Myers loop come from inferior retina. Describe the route of Myers loop. The fibers of Myers loop loops around inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. Where do nerve fibers of dorsal optic radiation come from? The nerve fibers of dorsal optic radiation comes from the superior retina. Describe the path of the dorsal optic radiation fibers. Dorsal optic radiation fiber takes the shortest path via the internal capsule. Describe how the image that we see is perceived by the primary visual cortex. When an image first hits the primary visual cortex, it's upside down and left right reversed. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.